I'm going to play now, because I think we've pissed around long enough. I think we'll stick with Isaac, it's nice and middle of the road. Now, I should warn you, it's been a little while since I've played this last, so I might be a bit rusty. Also, I'm sure the window was bigger than this last time I played. Oh well. I was going to get on with it. I will promise you one thing, though. I'll, I'll be better than Jay. Because <laughs> between you and me, you kind of sucked at this. <laughs> Don't you love how he's not here to defend himself? Disparaging people who aren't here. Seems needlessly cruel. Where did that bomb come from? You know what? I don't think I need to know. What I do need to know is what's in this door? One pill. Two pills. Uh, I'll take the orange looking one. I kind of like the look of that. So here. Well, free money. That's always welcome, right? It's going to cost me hearts to get out again as well. That seems to be a dick move. Well, I wasn't going to say that, Sleeves, but, um... Yeah, you're kind of right. <laughs> as ever, let me know if the sound balance becomes an issue, because I know it can do, because of the way my setup works, and I can't be bothered to put earphones in. Makes things a little bit too weird for me. Okay, you can stop shooting blood out of your eyeballs, and that'd be great. Very much. So, Wrath of the Lamb. I've still only played that you know, iteration once, as far as I recall. So I don't know most of the stuff that changed or was added since the original game. So that's going to be an interesting surprise for old Malice here when he gets murderized by something he didn't see coming. Last time I played this was someone's request, and I think I did come across that horrible bloody spider boss, which made me deeply uncomfortable. I'm not a fan of spiders, and I'm sure you're not either. Oh, hey, treasure. I'll take that. That looks like a good one to me. <laughs> HP up. And I get to wear a beating heart around my neck. Accompanies my, uh, compliments my tears quite nicely. Wow, was that really the whole first level? Well, you know what? An HP up, I'm going to take that. Eat the pills. Uh, that's probably a good idea, actually. Friends till the end. Cool. I'm not going to go and get the other pill, because fuck no, am I taking a whole heart of damage before I even get to the boss? Who is? Famine. That seems a bit premature for a horseman. I would have thought. Fucking hell. And all my flies are dead. Guess we weren't friends for that long, then. <laughs> oh dear. Let's hope this doesn't become a trend. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but does Famine not do anything else? Oh, yeah, okay, he does. Spread shot. I'm not afraid of you. I've got all the food I could ever accidental bomb. I honestly didn't mean to do that, and I kind of wish I hadn't. And I'm dead! Gotta be honest, throwing famine at me straight away when I'm out of practice, a little bit cruel. So that was one run. Let's give it another go, shall we? Because <laughs> that was a bit... Uh, Shockingly disappointing. Don't tell me the game crashed. Okay, there we go. Man, they really are tempting me with this shit. Uh, oh. Satan. Hmm. Okay, before I make any, you know, game crippling decisions here, also that orange fire is going to start shooting. Um, are either of these actually any good? I think the cat head is not. I can't remember what the dead cat hole does, if I've had it before. I wouldn't take either. A dead cat is funny, but horrible. Horrible as in useless, or horrible as in, oh god, what am I looking at? Don't take anyone right now. Yeah, okay, that seems fair. I'll follow your advice. I will follow it for now. I'm sure these meats didn't used to show up in the first level. Hmm. New things all the time. And also bombs. <laughs> oh, I will definitely take that. Fuck yeah. Giant side sorrow for more. 
His name is Isaac, but now he doesn't properly fit through the doors. I've always loved the music in this game. It's just very easy to lyricize. I don't know necessarily why that is, but I've never had any trouble. Always check the poo. You know the rules of this game by now. If you don't, then you probably should. Right, let's go hope we go, go get another fucking horseman straight out the bat. The dead cat gives you nine lives, but you only have one heart for each of them. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> well, that does kind of blow. Okay, Gemini, he's easy, I remember him. His little friend seems to be green, not sure if that means he's moldy or whatever. This is not the best room to be fighting Gemini in, gotta be honest. Especially when I do daft shit like that. But I've got improved attack power! You can't stop me! Suffer at the hands of my sorrow! My bullets of sorrow. Perhaps they're the best kind. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> Let's see if we can't stun lock this guy. I seem to remember that being possible. I really would like to stun lock you. Stun lock is your friend. Not so much mine. Ah! He's not very fast. I seem to remember being faster. Oh well. Let's have a coat hanger. A coat hanger through the face. Yep, can definitely get on board with rapid fire. Good. I think this is a much more promising start. Whoop! Any boss of three colours are variant, they change in some way. Kinda like Diablo 2 used to do. As I recall. I don't seem to have had any of uh, the alternate basement levels yet, so that's probably a good thing. And the Hermit. Someone in chat tell me what it does. I'm not gonna wait around because I don't need to necessarily, but uh, I would like to know in advance if possible. I never remember what the tarot cards do from one you know, playthrough to the next, really, so having someone with that knowledge on hand would be pretty awesome. Oh, well, okay, well, I'll check the poo in a minute. But first, this asshole. And his troll bombs, and his diagonal head lays. Oh, God! Well, I asked for that, didn't I? And then he's dead. Said he's dead. What the fuck is that? Interesting. They've added playing cards to the tarot card list now. Tell the boys to do the shop. Okay, so what does the two of diamonds do instead? And is it a better choice? I mean, I'm going to go with yes because it's new. And, you know, teleporting to the shop's not particularly exciting. But someone will tell me what it does. Of that, I, I am certain. Let's see, the rest of the level must be this one. Two of diamonds doubles your current coins. Now, that sounds like one to hang on to, so I've got a few more, wouldn't you say? That's pretty cool, though. Ooh, nice one. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. I like that a lot. I did get the Ace of Spades in that very brief previous run-through, didn't I? But it appeared on the left side, not the right, so I'm assuming it's different in some way. I honestly don't know. Also, bombs in guys. Seems needless. Violet, different. Rusted key. Hmm. Again, someone's gonna have to tell me what it does. Is it double the relevant item? Give you two of them you've listened to. Oh, okay. Good to know. I mean, I, I think that thing on the left there is the new uh, kind of item, the trinket, yes? And I'm assuming the rusted key is going to have something to do with stuff that needs keys. Oh, hey, a key. <laughs> Speak of the devil. See through doors. I forget what, exactly what that means. In the uh, context of the game mechanic. Makes me look natty as hell, though. Covers up that horrible coat hanger I've got jammed through my brain. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember. I have to jam myself on these spikes to get anything. Really? Really? I'll do it once more. This better be worth it. It totally wasn't. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so glad I did that. <laughs> well, gotta go fight a boss with uh, half a heart left. 
Sounds like a plan, right? Unless... Helps being able to see where the secret rooms are, yes. But uh, no sign of a heart anywhere, and no key to open the shop. So. The rusty key just makes keys drop more frequently as room rewards. Well, I wish I'd got it earlier, because I could really do with going to that shop and spending some of this cash. To get some hearts, mainly. Oh, hang on, I have an idea. I have a plan. I'm sure some of you in chat have been screaming at me for the last 30 seconds already. Another secret room? I'll check it in a minute, because I've only got the one bomb. If I grab this, and it, yeah, okay, thank you, game. I'd like to take this one. Ha 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 ha! Cheating the system. Is that a Minecraft pick? Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Right. Hoopa garble, hoopa garble. Is it worth getting? You don't have to tell me what it does necessarily for spoiler reasons. Just tell me if it's worth spending the 15 keys that that thing on. I'd never use the pain rooms. They're virtually never worth it. Nikarin says no, it's not worth getting. Alright, tell me what it does then, because I'm interested. Hey, at least it opens the shop for free, right? Let's see what this room is then. Hopefully it's going to have some hearts in it. That is not a heart. Goat hoof. Is it worth re-rolling it, or going and re-rolling the pick? Oh, I'll just make my own decisions. I, I'm not going to sit and you know, wait for chat to answer me every single time I have a question. I don't remember what that does. Can't help but feel, though, that it might be worth... Um, Going to get me two of diamonds back first. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that was the... Whoop. And because then if I use it, I'll have plenty of money. Because I'm unlikely to get a lot more money this, than this in one go. But you know what? I'm not actually going to buy that. Because I don't... If I remember rightly, it just shows you on the map where various things are. And I don't think that's worth 15 coins, really. Well, heart and a half to beat the boss, it might become a moot point anyway. <laughs> Although it is the Duke of Flies, who is possibly the easiest boss. In my humble experience, anyway. Is he smaller than he used to be, or is it just because it's early in the game? Well, whatever, I'm going to murder him really easily, because he's a piece of piss. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, gimme. And extra health is always worth it. Also, I've become angry, and now have extra tears, but I think you can only have that upgrade once, anyway. Onward then! Would have been more valuable if you didn't already have the Spelunka hat. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. Alrighty, caves. Things just got a little bit more interesting. That is a thingy rock. It's a pity I can't. Uh, I haven't got any bombs, really. Need a dick. Wonder why he was full of flies. Anyway, oh, that's going to take my spirit heart if I go through that. This is a Satan room though, and those power-ups do tend to be pretty uh, fantastic. Maybe later. Maybe I'll come back later. Because that's not going anywhere. Having this does make, you know, finding the... Oh, that's a bit of a cheap shot, isn't it? Oh, hey, here's four bombs. Pretty you need a bomb to get them. LOL. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Fuck you and your endless hatred. Ah. Stay back. Little ones, you have teeth that are far too big for my taste. I don't have key. That's a problem. I wouldn't mind if I could get myself a fucking key. To be honest, if I got a bomb, that would be better, because then I could get four bombs as well. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. The game is full of hate. Day, it seems. Oh god, I'm in trouble. Okay, I guess I'm not in trouble. Having that increased attack power really does rock. Oh my. What the fuck is that? Matchstick. 
Another trinket, I see. I'll keep this for now because I want keys to drop. I might come back and pick that up later. I mean, I'm assuming you were right on that. But... Oh, hello! Sloth. Sloth, whatever. The green explodey guy who's really not that difficult to kill. You just stand across the room from him and, uh, well... He tends not to be able to do a whole lot, do you? Splat. Ah! A bomb. And the fool. Someone in chat tell me what the fool does. <laughs> I might come back and get it later, I might not. Oh, matchstick is more bomb drops, okay. I'll stick with the keys then, I generally find them more useful, and I have fewer of them at the moment, so... That seems the more sensible thing. Now, if I use a bomb here... Whoop, I can grab myself- Oh no, it needs another bomb! Well, I guess that screwed me over, didn't it? And now that, no, oh, I suppose it does fill that in permanently. So I still only need the one bomb, but I need another bomb to get those four bombs. Shit. Alright, here's my plan. I'm gonna grab the matchstick, so I can hopefully get a bomb from the other room, slash rooms that are still ahead. Because then I'll be able to get that as well. That is not a small number. Come on, bomb! That is not a bomb. Come on, bomb! Oh, what do you know? Two bombs. Thank you. There you go, you see? I'm a man with a plan. And a stratagem to carry it out. So now I'm going to have plenty of bombs. So the matchstick is not as useful anymore. So I'll go and switch it back. I'm, I haven't used the two of diamonds yet, because I'm waiting to have a bit more money so I can get a whole boatload in one go. Or until I come across something that I need to replace it with. Now let's have this key. Now I can get the treasure room, can I? Whoop de doo. Fools are teleported to the starting room. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I don't need that. Go, go, trinket micromanagement. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, I don't remember what that does. Somebody tell me, because I know it's an old school item, so it's not like a spoiler warning, it's just my piss poor memory. Which has the one that someone's an aimable explosion, yeah. Well. Charm of the Vampire. Kills heal? Hell yeah! That's a brilliant one to get. I'ma take it and I'm gonna run away. Also, there's a secret room here. <laughs> ah! Cash money! Always check the fire and the poo. Fire and poo. Not a good combination. At the same time, I would say. Now would be a really nice time to get to the shop, but I have no keys. So, does every level have two secret rooms now? One that follows the old rules of, you know, always being in the little, like, um, corner areas, and one just completely off the wall that I'm very glad to have the Spelunker hat to be able to find. Well, that's a free treasure chest, right? Yep, I'll take that. Let's see if I can't roll up a few keys from here. Or maybe a key from here. Wow! Alright. The ladder lets you go over holes, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, I can't D6 it, so it's either buy that or don't bother. Hmm. Yeah, might as well. Fuck it. Let's buy the shop out. Now he is poor. I want to try and get another key just so I can. I've got one going forward. I'll spend down to about 35 coins, and if I don't have one by then, I'll just vomit. It's not going to turn back to the thingy one, is it? Oh, okay. Well, I'll take it. Ladder is extremely useful. Well, it's a good thing I decided to take it then. The new secret room is always an angel or devil room of one flavor or another. Fair enough. Somewhat new, I'm a long time lurker, followed you way back in the YouTube days. Well, that, you say it like that, it makes it sound like I don't. You, well, I haven't uploaded anything for like a year. Shut up! <laughs> well, don't need that. Alright, one more. Bah! I curse my good luck with bombs! My good luck, my bad luck. Either way, bombs are happening. And I got plenty of money. And I got plenty of money. 
and I've probably broken some of these ears. Right, let's go fight the boss, because I don't really fancy the Satan room. Oh no! We all know what I make of Gurdy. I'm not a fan. Because I'm still not 100% certain on what the hell I'm fucking looking at half the time. Ah, well that wasn't very fun. Fuck you, Gurdy, I hate you so much! It's not a very enjoyable boss to fight either, I find, because you have to keep picking off the little turret thing. I mean, with my improved attack power, that is not so difficult, I suppose. But it's still a rather large pain in the ass. Come on. Just hit the turret, please. I need to... Alright, you know what? I'm not going to hit the turret. I don't care anymore. And... You're dead. That fly looks different. Should I be concerned? Oh, I can just double shoot. Okay. That's a bit freaky. I don't think I needed that. Because I don't think I can shoot any faster than I could before. Wow. Also, am I the only one who thinks he looks terrifying now? <laughs> Jesus. Three spirit hearts for that? And one for that. Well, given that these are fairly, you know, big decisions, I'm going to let chat tell me what the fuck on those two. Because I've never seen the foot before. I don't think I've seen the other thing before either. Yeah, get the foot. Get the foot. You seem pretty adamant. I'll trust you. <laughs> Get the foot. All right, all right. So... About that foot. <laughs> what does it do? How does it do? Oh no, the toy rolls run out again. I mean, other than giving me luck, I suppose. One assumes. Well, that was an explosion that shattered the ages. And my face, apparently. Whoop. That's enough out of you. Always welcoming free money. All pills are positive pills now. Oh, nice! So I don't have to have any qualms about just eating them straight away. Sweet. Does that include the neutral ones? I'm sure you know what I mean when I say that. Like the ones that don't do anything. Can you still get those, or is it only the ones that actually give bonuses? And then there's half a boss. Seems fair. What are you doing pooing on the floor? Civilized worms don't poo on the floor! Well, I'm not getting to that treasure chest anytime soon. Don't have any keys. I seem to be very short on them, which is ironic given I'm apparently carrying the thing that makes keys drop more. Who knew? Ah! Ah! Yeah, no, that's enough of your shiz. Thank you very much. No. Stay back, I have powers. Most of them involve crying. You love the way you can angle your shots like that. Just by moving. Mm, probably not worth it since I'm currently rocking spirit heart. But I always want to explore the whole levels, make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah, neutrals are still in the pool. Fair enough. Ah, hello Aceronian, you are here. That is good news for everybody. Ah, not these feckin' things. Everybody knows I don't like the skull turrets, especially when they're craftily hidden around corners like that. And I'm dumb enough to get hit by them. Ah, oh, pissing. Come on. Do your worst. Stupid turret. Ah! Alright, well, I misjudged that entirely. Well! I've got all the skills. Come on. These things never seem to follow their own rules. I'm sure the idea was that when you don't shoot at them, 
they pop up. But it never seems to work. They just do it whenever they feel like, really. Whoop, hey, now, listen to that if you don't mind. Well, oh, these are awkward spikes. Thanks, game. Thanks a whole bunch for that one. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Well, fine. I don't even care. That's a poo with corn in it. Seems needless. Hang on. Why am I making this difficult for myself? Also, I'm an idiot. There we go. Well, I don't have spirit hearts anymore, so I guess I could just go ahead and uh, go into the pain room, or the Satan room, whichever. Why did I walk straight into that? The mysteries of life. That one's... Yeah, yeah alright, that's that. You made your point. Meat is good. Meat is painful. Both of these facts are true. It is a good pain. Oh, hey, a bomb. Lord knows why I went round the corner there, because I didn't need to. Ah! I don't really want to be ambushed by eyeless floating heads. It's not my idea of an evening well spent. And where are all the keys at? Really? Oh, hey zombies, what are you doing? Oh, it looks like you suck a whole bunch! Mwah. Seriously. Well, make with the keys. You should be doing none, though, right now. Explain what that means. Also, meat. Oh, God. Yeah, this is another slightly unpleasant one on account of the fact that there's not many places to ow to run. From flying drops of blood. Blood. Thank goodness for the vampire power up, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to take chat advice and not bother with that shit this time. Don't use the pain room, you will only die faster. Remind me what the sun does, because I don't remember. I really need some fucking keys. That's what I need. Give me some keys. I need to unlock your death. one I can get. But it only had money in it. A lot of money, granted, but only money. Seriously, game, make with the freaking keys. National Novel Writing Month. Write 50,000 words in November. I would do that if I hadn't already... This is new. This is a new thing. I'm assuming it needs money. And hello, Buddha Bug. You're very new. I don't recognise that name at all. Well, let's see what it does. Oh, okay. So what does the Ace of Spades do then, people? I'm going to hang on to the key for now in the vain hope of getting some keys to spawn. But um, I seem to have run out of rooms to check other than the Satan room, and I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Um, well, let's waste another bomb to get back in that room, why not? Pooper garble. You can get Soul Hearts cards and trinkets out of those. Mmm. Well, I've got a lot of money. Let's have a have a couple of goes, shall we? I can actually, no, all right. I guess I'm okay. Tasty. Very tasty. What is that? A safety cap. <laughs> You've showed it to many. Oh well, I appreciate the traffic then. <laughs> oh, I broke it. But it dropped a thing. Okay, in the interest of not losing my D6, what does the crystal wall do? <laughs> Safety cap is higher pill drop rate. Well, fuck that. I don't need that really. I mean, I suppose it would combo quite well with the only getting positive ones. But, I don't know. I still need a key for this treasure room over here. Crystal Ball is awesome. Space item that spawns soul hearts. That does sound pretty awesome. At the very least, use it once before you leave it. Seems fair. 
And then re-roll it. <laughs> Polyphemus? That's made him even creepier looking with that new expression. So Polyphemus has given me gigantic slow red tears. Interesting. Hang on, has he got a third eye in the middle of his two googly eyes now? Is that what that's done? Man, is this when you think you couldn't look any freakier? <laughs> that's a massive damage upgrade. Sweet! I like that. Well, I guess that leaves me with... the choice of what the hell to do with the rest of this lot, I suppose. I think I'm pretty sure I want the sun, unless one of these cards does something I can immediately benefit from. I like, oh, I don't know, spawn keys for me. Use temperance. Alright. What you got? got to navigate to it first. That's the tower. That's the ace of spades. That's the key. That's the sun again. Oh, what have I done? I've made it incredibly difficult to actually pick up anything specific. It is not cooperating with my request, is it? Okay, there we go. Temperance. Blood machine. Probably a good idea to just bomb that, I suppose. Now good. More money. Because I didn't have enough of that already. <laughs> oh my. The Ace's card drop rate. Oh, okay. Well, I can leave that behind then because I'm not that fussed about that right at the moment. I'll just leave them. So I guess I'm not getting a key to go in here, am I? Or that gold treasure chest in that other room. God damn it. That's really annoying, actually, because I'm missing out on two really important treasures there, just through virtue of not having any keys. And no way to get any, as far as I can tell. I mean, I think there might have been a dinghy rock somewhere in the level. A special rock, you know what I'm talking about. Oh god, there's that shop up there as well. There might be a buy keys, but hey, guess what? You need a key to get in. Because fuck you, I guess. Uh, well, I haven't got much choice, have I? There's the second secret room. No, I went in there. Yeah. <laughs> Blood machines are a better way of using up loose hearts. Yeah, true enough. Oh well, I guess I'll just fight the boss then. Oh good, it's fistula. Gross. Whoa! Yeah, I can kind of see what you guys meant about the damage now. <laughs> Holy shit. That, that's pretty much one-shotting everything in the room. I mean, yeah, okay, they're a little slower, but I'm gonna take the damage. <laughs> For moments. There you go. Boss music seems to still be playing for some reason. That looks like a tumor. Stem cells, health up. Oh, good. Because, you know, I didn't need Isaac to look any weirder. <laughs> well, is there any way I can get keys or am I. Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do, is it? I was wasted two bombs by pressing E instead of W. Good. Glad that happened. So, am I gonna have to just sacrifice a treasure room and a gold treasure chest? just because I can't get the fuckers. Is there a spike room? There is, but it would cost me my spirit hearts, wouldn't it? Which seems a bit wasteful. Nevertheless, probably worth trying. It could work out on, as a net plus, so I'm gonna risk it. God, he looks like a mess, doesn't he? He does look like he's been punched rather hard in the face by a fucking morning star or something. Ooba garb, ooba garb. Can get keys, but rare. Well, let's hope I'm lucky. Oh, pain room goes straight for real health? Oh, well, that's good to know. No, it doesn't. You lied. Look, see? It's taking my spirit hearts. Well, this better be feckin' worth it, then. Good lord. Okay. Well... Uh, I feel regret for my actions. I feel like maybe wasting the hearts on that is not such a good plan, or is it a case of I've already invested health in it and it will remember what I've already done? Yeah, I got screwed there. I got really screwed. <laughs>
pain room hates you. Yes, it does. It would be worth it if I'd got something, perhaps. I told you not to use it. Yeah, but I'm desperate to have keys because I don't want to leave these two key requiring things behind. Potentially three, actually. Hello, Dusky Voltage. I believe you're also new. Wow, I'm getting a lot of new people today. This is good. I like that. I'm going to have a quick check of the view account, actually, because I think I might be on an unprecedented high. Yeah, I think I am. Holy crap. Well, I'm not going to go back, I don't think. Because I'm probably going to end up screwing myself. Not new, just never signed in before. Oh, fair enough. Well, then, your name is new, and that is good enough. <laughs> Fuck it. The depths. And I'm locked in a box. Ah, oh, Christ. Okay, now things are going to get difficult, aren't they? Oh, hi, it's the brains that I hate. Thank goodness for the vampire power, or I'd really be screwed. And also this ridiculous damage buff. That helps a lot. Come on, let's... Holy shit, I can, I can definitely get on board with having this power up every time forever. Now nah, it gives me a key. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. You have the suns, you can get back to full health. Yeah, true enough. I'd say power-up-wise, I'm in a very strong position. Which is rare. It doesn't often happen. Well, and then that happened. I'm thinking a trip to the shop might be in order at some stage, but not yet. Since I've only got the one key, I want to save it for a proper treasure room. Mwah! I devour your souls and gain health! I would like some more, actually. I wish every kill healed me. See, hitting these is quite difficult with the slower shot. Oh, goody, all that for a fucking coin. And if you skip two item rooms, you get Samson, because I don't think you don't have him. That's true, I don't. And I, at the beginning, I said, nah, fuck that, because I thought doing that intentionally was stupid. But I guess doing it unintentionally is not so stupid. <laughs> Ugh, I think I've found the most annoying enemy to deal with when you have this power-up. Meat zombies. Mini fistulas. Have I avoided rhomboid fate? Yes, you have! Hmm, now do I deliberately skip this treasure room to get Samson unlocked? When it says skip uh, passes on them, does it mean not opening them, or does it just mean not taking what's in them? Well, somebody can tell me about that, and I'll go on a bit of a spree. Yeah, being able to kill those fuckers in one shot is a damn fine thing. A lot of hearts about. This is good news. I wouldn't open it. Fair enough. I mean, I do seem to have a pretty hefty set of power-ups already, so I guess I'm probably not missing much. Between... Oh, shit. Yeah, just walked straight into that. Between the power boost and the um, vampire healing, I'm in a pretty good place as far as power-ups go. You want to back the fuck up, maybe? Oh, pissing balls. Be a bit more careful, I think. There is such a thing as being cocky. I would like to not be in that situation. It's look but don't touch for Samson Skippy. Fair enough. Ooh. This is the... Uh, if I remember rightly, this gives you like super boosted attack power for one room. But given that I've already got super attack power, I'm going to re-roll it. And now I've got... Spider Bite. Please tell me that doesn't take away my power buff. Because <laughs> I would be very, very upset if that were the case. Oh, piss. I hate these things. I'm really, really bad at dealing with them also. Alright, oh, Spider Bite doesn't require you to be behind them to get it to trigger. Sweet. That was a pretty good shot. I'm quite proud of that. Hmm. 
Yeah, it would help if I could repeat the performance. There we go. Zibbity zabbity boo! Don't ask. I don't want to see Oh, he looks like a bad day. Waiting to happen. If you want to heal me, that'd be great. Hmm. I think I'm going to go grab me some more hearts. Is there a room there I haven't somehow been able to get into? I just haven't explored it out of choice. Oh, good. I always wanted a room full of brains. <laughs> oh, hey, a key. Well, now that I did want. Hmm, trade a bomb for a bomb? Seems a bit of a waste, doesn't it? Oh, wait, no, these are any fistulas. Well, then fuck knows what the other things were. Gross, probably. Just like everything in Binding of Isaac. <laughs> There you go, now I've got plenty of keys. It's all good. I'm gonna go to the shop. That was pretty good. The book is damn nice, but assuming you want to hang on to the die, then the spider bite is pretty damn good in the passive. Agreed. You're officially OP. Probably true. Oh, it's not a shop, it's greed. Shit. What have I done? Well, murdered him for a start. Holy shit. Free key and a lot of money. I really don't have any more money problems at all, do I? Like, I just don't need to give a shit. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I like runs where that happens. Just grab some heart power. Make sure I'm all stocked up for the boss, because I'm, I'm foreseeing a difficult boss in my future. I didn't even think of using the ladder. <laughs> Alright then, Mr. Boss. What you got for me? What you gonna be? Are you gonna be horrible and terrifying? Ah, oh, piss. Fallen's kinda hard, as I remember. Although having a slow effect is really gonna make him a lot easier. And, you know, uber damage helps a lot too. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I, I kind of walked right into that somewhat literally. Off, you fuck. Oh dear. Oh dear. Now, before I get that, is that not the thing that gives you the blood laser beam, and is that going to completely screw me? Oh, is it just a damage up? Sweet. Oh boy. Because, uh, you know, I needed a damage up. Totally. But yeah, you make a valid point about the bomb sleeve, so I'll go and, uh, I'll go and grab that, shall I? Right, proceed. Once it's up, it's normally fine. Not so much today, apparently. Ah, uh, that sucks, dude. I wish I could help in some way. Oh dear. Well, we got an alternate form of the level. That can't be. Is that golden poo? Are you? Well, now I really have seen everything. Anyone want to tell me what the golden poo is for? Oh, hey, I have only positive pills, don't I? As a thing. So let's uh, tears up. Oh, good. I'm so glad I teleported to a room with a boss in it. Oh, well. <laughs> Welp. If I wasn't OP before, I definitely am now. Ah, what is that? That is a new thing I don't like. It's kind of horrifying, if I'm honest. Well, he's dead now. Thanks for teleporting me straight to the boss game. I don't really want to go there yet, though, if you don't mind. Miles Calibre is officially OP right now. I've just got all the right stuff, haven't I? Super attack, ow. Super attack boosts, lots and lots of health. Reasonable fire rate and what have you. Ability to heal self, that's always good. Ability to see where the secret rooms are, thanks to the hut, uh, the hut, the hat. Ooh, what's this? How's that different from a normal spirit heart? Somebody fill me in on that. Oh, this looks a bit intimidating. Never mind. 
Wow, you're going to put a boss in a normal room? Kind of a dick move, game. Well, I'm pretty sure I hit him, but never mind. And then he died. Noisily. Brew ha ha. Some of the rebirth item combos are even more OP than this. I don't doubt it. The noose. I don't remember what that does. Doesn't that turn you into a floating head? If you make it to the end of the floor, it becomes a new heart container. Ooh, very nice. Makes you fly. I'm, I'm gonna take it then. Oh, right, it doesn't... It leaves me wings, even better. I am very fond of my power-ups, as, as of this point. <laughs> Can I fly over spikes? You bet your ass. You bet your Asia. I left my sun card behind, I've just realised. I forget that. I don't remember what the tower does. I think it's bad. What What does the tick do? Well, apparently it gives me blood on my head and takes away my weird stretchy eyes. I'm assuming the tick gives me more health drops. That's what I would guess. Somebody said, no, you can't get rid of the tick. Oh. Oh no! No more trinkets for you. Well, that sucks. I'm assuming it doesn't have any positive effect at all, then, if that's the case. It takes away boss's HP at the start of the fight. Oh, well, at least it does something, then. I thought you meant it was just, like, a, a screw you from the game. Also, I can get this, because I missed two treasure rooms, didn't I? That's health or attack power? Poison touch. Not terribly useful, actually, but oh well, I'll take it anyway. I don't need to use keys to get to this. Fuck you, game. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Tick also gives you health when you enter a boss room, I believe. It's not worth it, but it's not amazing, yeah. Well, as I said, as long as it does something, I don't feel too bad about it, given my other, you know, vastly overpowered stuff. Someone tell me what the High Priestess does. I mean, the sun is almost certainly going to be a better choice, but this might be more immediately useful. Like, if I just use it now. It's not like I've got you know, a money shortage or anything. Oh, he fires out of both ends! <laughs> oh dear. Why Anus is bleeding? Might as well go to the arcade, why not? Hey buddy, let's play your game, shall we? Wibbly 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 wibb! This one. Thank you. Wibbly 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 wibbly! I don't really need it, but... Oh! How about all kinds of fuck you? You little prick! You can tell me what to do, do ya? I am a evil bastard. This much is true. And I'm coming for you. Oh man, all these trinkets look like it'd be really fun. High priest is someone's mum's foot. I feel bad for your ladder now, his heyday has passed. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, fuck it. I'll just, uh. On this. Seems a fair trade. Malice, it was gracious loser. <laughs> Absolutely bloody exactly. Hey, we've still got unexplored rooms! Oh, this was my oh, that was the gold poo, and it turned into a normal poo. That's a shame. Well, he was a thing. <laughs> Ew, why is there some intestines on the floor? I'm assuming they were a trinket as well. Let's try a combat room, I feel brave. What am I kidding? I feel overpowered, that's what I feel. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck! You can't pass or stop me. Hey, meat zombies. How you doing? 
Feeling pretty meaty today, huh? That's good. That's good to know. Eat a whole bunch of dicks. Eat a whole bag of them. Cancer would have been good, or the Liberty Cap. <laughs> oh yeah, Cancer, because what he needs is more damage. I feel like I'm probably at the limit for damage, so I don't think any damage ups are going to help now. But that's fine. I'm alright with that. Wow, another one of these? Jesus Christ. I'm assuming I can't get keys out of this. The Joker. That makes you deadly serious. Oh, yeah, I can fly over rocks as well. I forgot that. Well, let's buy a key, because I need those. And fuck it, why not buy this too? <laughs> now I can see everything! Hoopa garble, hoopa garble. Actually, Kansas gives you Ray of Fire, so it would give you more damage dramatically. Ah, oh, dang. Joker is a teleport to the Devil Room. Might as well go ahead and do it. Well, it saves me going through the pain door, I suppose. Well, I know what the 25 uh, does, and I don't think I need that because I've got plenty of money. Can't remember what that does, but I know I've had it before. I'm more of a fucking devil than he is at this stage. I mean, look at me. Got somebody's freshly ripped out heart on me. Wings, got a mi miner's hat, that's a traditionally devil thing, I'm sure. No need to get any of them, I think I'd leave. That seems to be the prevailing thing, so I'll do that. Just means I use the damn card up, which is always good. I don't necessarily need this. I want my sun card back. Because really, I don't think you can beat a full, a free full heal and destroy everything in the room. Slash damage everything in the room. Whoop, nearly wasted my key there. That would have been stupid, wouldn't it? Gives you flying and spectral tears, which would be awesome, except you already have flying. Very true. Well, I'ma go kill the boss. Which I believe at this point in the proceedings is actually mother. Or mum or mom or however you wish to pronounce it. Yeah, I'ma just skip past the spikes. Well, here goes. Isaac versus Mom! Isaac and all his super overpoweredness! Oh right, yeah, getting stamped on is probably not a great strategy. That's my name. Oh god, I'm being really careless with this. I don't really want to lose my super special white heart, because I've got this far without, without losing it. Oh, son of a bitch! Okay, well, now I cannot get hit again. That's the rules. And then my game temporarily froze. <laughs> Samson looks an awful lot like Snake. Just saying. Whew, close one. Sun's the best card, in my opinion. Yeah, probably true. And this is an eight ball. Tears up. Fair enough. And the Hierophant, which I'm pretty sure is a bad one, so I'll just keep my Sun card if you don't mind, game. The womb. And here's a box with a poo in it. <laughs> awesome. Now, as I remember, the womb is a horrible, horrible level. But given that I'm grossly overpowered now, it shouldn't be so much of a problem. I mean, I can fly over blocks, and I've got retardedly high attack power, so... Whoops, I did not mean to use the D6 there. Let's hope I can recharge it before I actually need it. Ha! You can't hit me when I'm hovering over blocks! Fuck you! Yeah, because I usually hate these things, but... Having the ability to fly over blocks makes life a lot easier. I'm going to do quick hit and run attacks on them and not get hit back. Oh, both the secret rooms off this one? Really? Odd. The big problem with the room is the enemies just flat do double damage when you get there. Yep, very true. Oh, well, I guess I wasted it then. Really? Enemies in a treasure chest. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, game. You're a dick. 
Maybe the other secret room will be more worthwhile. No! Super Greed! What? That's new. He has coins for eyes. I bet he's not any really any harder than the normal variety, though. No, not really. Because, <laughs> you know, I was already kind of short on money, so having more is always good, right? Never seen Super Greed before. I'm assuming that's a Wrath of the Lamb thing. <laughs> Hit the coin max. Awesome. Go straight to the boss room in the womb. Yeah, very true. I can't see it, though. I can see the layout, but I can't see the um, the actual... Oh, hey. I can get straight to this. Okay, I know I don't have to clear out a path with a bomb, but I'm going to do it, because otherwise I'm not going to get anything that comes out. I'll just explore. I mean, I've got a lot more freedom than I ever used to, so... I'm a little less worried about wandering around here for too long. Oh, there are three monstros. Well, that seems fair. Having said that, monstrously overpowered, so... I'm not too fussed. <laughs> I honestly... I don't think even Dark Lord Judas and his uh, overpowered bomb shots was better than this. And that was one of my most overpowered runs of this game. Ah, Lightning Phoenix is here. Awesome. Yeah, this has been going stupendously well. Like, as I, I just said, I don't think I've ever had a run go better. Not even Dark Lord Judas, which is my name for the previously stupidly overpowered one. I think I did a little two-minute video of that, as I recall. Yeah, <laughs> you can't hit me when I'm hiding in the blocks. And then you died. And it was great. Alright, the screaming annoying things. When did I get a bandana also? Was it when I unlocked Samson? I feel like it must have been. Oh, hey, I can just fly with the spikes. Hey, buddy, I'm going to give you all the coins you want. <laughs> Seriously. You can just take as many as you like. What's this? Anything good? Hermit, that takes you to the shop. But I'm assuming this level doesn't have a shop, if I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So I don't know what that would actually do. While I'm paying the kid, you can tell me. Thank you, a bomb. That's great. If you find a decent space item at this point, you might as well what, ditch the die. Yeah, good point. Let's hope he drops one. That's a troll bomb, dude. Don't throw those at me. I'm giving you money here. A lot of it at that. Probably will just take you to the starting room. Seems uh, sensible, yeah. Just let that shift out a bit. Wheel of Fortune! As I remember, that's garbage. Man, this guy is taking a lot of coins. I know that if you like, hit the coin limit with them, they give you something decent. Ah. Somebody remind me, I'll flap around the room while I wait. <laughs> Although I suppose I could just come back, so I won't flap around the room, I'll leave the room. I presume it won't go anywhere. There is a shop in the womb. Cool, alright. Well, if this is just ten bombs, I'll d6 it then. I have no idea what that is. Infestation, they grow inside. I don't like the sound of that, if I'm honest with you. It's made me green, which doesn't help. Well, if there is a shop, I might as well go to it, right? You lied to me! Man, if I wasn't stupidly overpowered, I'd be really annoyed right now. <laughs> it spawns blue flies when you get hit. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Didn't I come into this room before? No, I didn't. So now I've got two giant-sized monstros instead of three little ones. Oh no. The pee is leaving my underwear. 
in terror. Well, you know, it's not. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, hey, here's some more money, because, you know, <laughs> can never have too much of that, right? Oh, Christ. Did I just... Yep, I just accidentally killed the evil Isaac. Fantastic. If I wasn't overpowered before, well, I sure am now. I may be shit at this game, but I know a lot about it. Well, that's good. I like having people who know things about the game on hand. Wheel of Fortune's garbage. I'll take the sun, then go. Uh, I guess I might as well just go straight to the boss, then. Oh, it's death. Yeah, that's not going to do a lot to me, mate. I'm pretty much unstoppable at this point. I know, I mustn't think like that, because if I do, I'll, it'll be the worst kind of hubris, and I'll get killed. We all know that's what happens. Still, that was laughably simple. <laughs> I'm going to have a fun time fighting Satan, I think, because he's usually extraordinarily difficult. So is the meat cube worth it, or just dice it at this point? It might be worth me having a bit of a, a look around, actually, because I am powerful enough to get away with it. I don't make any dumbass mistakes. Like that, for example. Oh, hey, here's some more money. <laughs> oh, dear. You can't dice the meat cube, can you? Oh, fair enough. I guess I'll just grab it then. Or can you? I think a horseman can only drop that. Well, I might as well try. Nah, <laughs> yeah, it just becomes another meat cube. I'll take it then. Might as well have a look around then, see what else I can find. Except for the one that drops the hobby horse. Which would be useless to me right now, on account of the fact that I can fly! So we've got to come up for a name, uh, with a name for this overpowered uh, combo. Because we had Dark Lord Judas and we had Pirate Pissing Bomberman that one time. So what's this guy going to be? I'm thinking something like, you know, Demon Prince Isaac or something along those lines. It's the vibe I'm getting. Can I fly over the blood? No. <laughs> okay. I was wondering for a minute there about that. Might as well take on the combat room. Not really got much to lose. <laughs> wow, my blue flies are pretty overpowered. Do they get the same attack power I do? Because if so, I just became even more overpowered. Man, a combat room that's spawning bosses. And I'm just walking all over them like it ain't no thing. They're getting very lucky with their spray shots, I must admit. A meat cube that cannot be diced. Oh, very good. Very good. Some wit there, I like that. I have a pill that's guaranteed to be positive or neutral. Bombs are key. Now I have 16 keys. <laughs> so really, I, I will want for nothing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Minor offence. Yes, yeah, very good. The wit is out in force in the chat today. Well, I guess I'll move on to the next stage. Flap, flap, flap. Woom doo! Oh no, shit. Got real. Spelunky Spider Demon Isaac. <laughs> Spelunky Spider, I like the way that, that rolls. Oh, these feckin' things. Not really much to worry about when you're as overpowered as I am. Because, you know, more money. <laughs> if there's one thing this run has not been stingy with, it is money. Ever since that two of diamonds right near the beginning. It was just like, yeah, have it all. Have all the cash. Whatever, dude. 
And yeah, like I said before, being able to kill those fuckers in one shot is a really big deal. Because they're my least favourite enemy by far. The fucking dashing skyworm teeth things. Fuck! Yeah, just because I'm overpowered, there's no excuse to get cocky. That's how stupid mistakes are made, and that's how runs are screwed up. Really? Another one of these? Well, I guess I might as well just bump it full of the money I have. And then it exploded and gave me keys I don't need. <laughs> now, the Emperor is definitely one of the bad ones, isn't it? So I'm going to leave it. Thank God you found that money. Almost running dry there. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Not a great fan of the screaming bitches, either. I must admit. But for different reasons. They're kind of tricky, but they're more annoying than anything. Because that scream just gets irritating fast. Yeah, these fuckers right here. We're going to just kill them instantly. It's going to make life a lot easier in the future. That is an eyeball. Which I can't take because it's a trinket. Good. Alright. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of interesting stuff there. Is he glitching out? Well, I guess we'll never know now. Diggly dig, diggly dig, eat your fucking soul! That's the impression I get from those things. Alright, turrets. Wait, there was a turret in the room? Nobody told me. Can I not? In there? I thought those opened when you had full health. I don't know. Maybe it requires me to go back once I uh, had full health. Re trigger the room, perhaps. The only thing I really don't like about the. Okay, no, not the only thing. One of the many things I don't really like about the womb level is the uh, lack of any real music to it. Every other level in the game has got decent music, not this one. Nope, stays closed. There must be something else then. Oh, okay. Well, I'm definitely not going to go in it then, am I? Because whatever's in there is not going to be worth taking the damage for. Mm, I can't be asked to explore the rest of the level. I'm just going to get on with it. Oh, no. It lives. That's new. I've never seen that before. Wait, no. Yes, I have. What am I talking about? It threw me a bit, but I do remember that. That was just silly, I didn't need to get hit by that. Alright, this boss is a pain in the arse, isn't it? Because it spawns stuff. It's got good music, though. Can't argue with that. Plus, being able to heal myself from killing the spawned enemies is always a plus. It's what I do when I don't have other things to say. Well, this is a boss. <laughs> Something icky. Oh dear. Now, correct me if I'm incorrect, but this shaft of light here is a new thing. So I'm gonna wait, because I, I, I know that the trapdoor will take me to um, Sheol and then Satan. The light is the other path. Oh, I didn't realise there was one. Alright. Cathedral. Ooh, spooky. Oh, hi! Two of the creepy fucking spider boss in the room. That seems fair. It's a good thing I'm ridiculously overpowered or I'd be kind of annoyed right now. Okay, so here's a question. Once I've dealt with these idiots. Um, does the double damage thing apply here as well? Because I seem to only have taken half a heart from the spider boss things I just encountered. Oh, hi. <laughs> I don't even need to say it anymore, do I, really? Also, have fun with that. What, is this really difficult or something? Try and ignore the steam noises. You didn't really hear them. Two sloths. Interesting. 
Not, you know, any kind of difficulty or anything, but interesting nonetheless. <laughs> Man, I love being overpowered. So, okay, here's a follow-up question. Well, it's not really, but... If Satan is the boss in Sheol, then am I going to be fighting God at the end of this cathedral level? Is that the deal? Oh good, ten bombs, because I really, really need that. Fuck it. Can't be asked. I might come back if later when I've recharged the D6. I haven't had a single space item this whole game. I've just really registered. What? Really? Just, just famine in a room. Doesn't seem very fair. I mean, he's kind of trapped in there at the moment. He's making hitting him a bit of an arse. Okay, here's a little factoid for you viewers. Um, the original Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, famine didn't actually exist, I don't think. Or was it pestilence? Oh, pestilence. Point is, one of them didn't used to exist, because it used to be um, conquest. Uh, what? Didn't I just kill you? <laughs> Pretty sure I... Well, then he died. <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting the distinct impression there's a boss in every room here. Would that be a would that be a fair assumption to make? Double bombs. <laughs> you know, kind of needed those. Be on the lookout for first sphere enemies. Don't know what you mean by that. I'm not going to spoil it, but here's a tip. It's very existential. You will see no one tell him. Yeah, and conquest is actually in this game. Oh, cool. Well, I'm I'm actually impressed that they did the research on that one. Okay, nobody tell me what the boss is then. I want to find out firsthand. I want it to be one of those what the fuck moments. Although I've got uh, an idea of what it might be. My idea is that it's somehow going to be me. It's going to be a fight with me with all the ridiculous overpowered stuff that I have. So, you know, the more powerful you are, the harder it is. That kind of deal. Nobody tell me if I'm right, but that's what I think it is. Oh god, not Monstro 2. I really was never a fan of him. Oh crap. Yeah, see, even with all my powers, this is actually still quite tricky. So I'm um, I'm very glad for being this overpowered now. Because I feel like I wouldn't last five minutes if I wasn't. Especially not with a boss in every room, by the looks of things. That's why it definitely isn't going to pay to hang around here. <laughs> a coin. Yeah, thanks for that. The first sphere enemy thing is a reference to Bayonetta. Oh, fair enough. Haven't played it. Have it on my shelf. Have had it for quite some time. Haven't played it. Ah, shitting fuck. I need to get to the... Take it, not that there's much help right now. Because I won't get any benefit from it until, really, until the end of the level. Well, there's only one path left, so I'm going to go back and get that heart, I think. Oh, and re-roll the item again, because I recharged my D6. White Eye Leech is the holiest of enemies. What's different um, about them from the black ones? Because I know the black ones are basically bombs as well. Oh, I can't get in there because I have full health. Well, Hooper Garble, I'll just take the heart then. Yeah, and only if you never get hit. Exactly. I mean, I suppose, it does it work as a... like a spirit heart until that happens? I'm assuming it does. Ah! A use for my money at last. You want to give me something? Preferably that isn't garbage. Oh, I forget what justice does, but it's not going to be better than a full heal and damage the and everything in the room deal, so... That's more health. I definitely want that. I'm not going to risk re-rolling it. Oh! And then the screaming bitches became angels. Good. I'm glad this happened. And then they walked into spikes. Hey, 
I'm just gonna have to cheese it, aren't I? <laughs> well, I don't really need the key to be honest, but I will anyway. Uh, oh, it's a trinket, the flat one. Well, we all know where the boss is going to be. It's going to be that away. So I'm going to go re-roll that item. Because now I can get in there. Use justice, it's some loot. Oh, alright. So it is. Man, I think the flying might be the best power-up I've gotten. Just because of the ease of uh, being able to fly over shit. Like spikes and rocks. Opens up a lot of strategic uh, potential. Flappity flappity. Now then, let's see what I can get this time. Whoop. Oh, good. Teleports are not very good. Ugh, just leave that. Yep, fair enough. I mean, maybe I'll get to recharge the dice again before I get to the boss. I wouldn't bet on it, but it's possible. Another one of these. Killed it before it even did anything. I'll rephrase that. Killed it before it did anything useful. More money, because why not at this point? Well, this is it then. I am prepared for whatever it might throw at me. Yeah, called it. Called it. Called it. Whoa! So do I really just have to... I'm assuming there's more to it than this, because this doesn't seem like much of a boss at the moment. Oh boy. Oh, those are new. Okay, it helps if you pay attention to what you're doing. And then he became an angel. I'm assuming he gets steadily more and more powerful as the fight goes on, that's what I'm guessing. You were right about it being pretty existential. And I guess I kind of only half called it, because it is me, but it's not me with my power-ups. Which is good, because I wouldn't fancy facing them. Okay, room's getting a little crowded now. Did I win? Let me go on. The D20 has appeared in the basement. Ho ho ho. What be this now? Honestly, I never thought Isaac was very interesting. He's more or less good. Yeah, i got to admit. He wasn't. It just as he went on, he just steadily filled the screen with more projectiles. So, um... oh, he doesn't look very happy. What's up, dude? Why do I get the feeling this is like a bad ending? It certainly doesn't seem very happy. Bee Licker? What the fuck? Some of these enemies are new as well. I've never seen half of them before. Jesus, dude. I'm a little freaked out right now. He's new. Pin. Ugh! Both of those are as well. And those. Oh dear god, the wretched. This is scaring me a little. That's horrifying. And so are those. Man, Wrath of the Lamb really went fucking crazy. Okay, no, I recognise those two, that's fine. Didn't deal with that. Ah, that's the picture everyone's been talking about. I've got to finish it somehow. 
You have to do this a lot of times to get to the last bit. Seems that way, yeah. So do you have to go to the cathedral to get it, or can you get it from Sheol as well? Also, why did Isaac see himself as a devil child? Is it that you have to do it with each character, like before? With cathedral with every character. Fair enough. I'm probably not going to do another one right now, because holy shit, that took ages. But I think it was worth it. That was a really good run. I'm quite pleased with how it went.